Lickety split. Two scoops as fast as can be. <laughs> Hey comic book fans, welcome back to Comic Book Corner 2.0, and fans, you're back with me, Mike Spider Slayer, getting ready to do that all-important comic book review, so you, the fans, can make a decision on what comic books to buy, and today, guys, we're talking about what I think is a highly anticipated indie book out there this week, and that is called Ice Cream Man. This is from Image Comics. Now, um, a lot of people want to know what ice cream man is about and what type of book that it is because from what i heard it is a hard to get book um and it's true my comic book shop was supposed to get quite a few copies of this and they only received two and from what i heard a lot of other shops are sold out um as well and people can't get their hands on this because they're very curious about this book but never fear mike spider slayer is here to give you that description if you decide to go out there and buy this after all so the ice cream man is written by uh maxwell prince and the art is done by martin morazzo um i love the story here and i love the coloring the artwork is good i would have liked it to be a little bit more i want to see detailed to make it a little bit more horrific because this is what type of book this is. This is like a horror book. This is something like Tales from the Crypt. Where you had the Crypt Keeper telling you a story. And then something happens. This is the same thing. This is the Ice Cream Man. Who is the one that gives ice cream to people. And there's a flavor for everyone's sorrow. Uh, because the Ice Cream Man makes everything better. right? Ice cream is the thing where... When you're down and you're not feeling good and if you want ice cream you eat it and while you're eating you're like wow this is great so it makes you feel about forget about your troubles for a little bit but if what if there's something more with the ice cream man the man that provides all this happiness for you what if he was this source of evil and he kind of is he's this source of evil that is that's going around town you know and all these weird things are happening so really cool type of book here so let's go over the story a little bit and um and i'll show you uh what this story is about so first things first we have the ice cream man we get introduced to him the kids are lined up at the ice cream truck and this is like your childhood right where you always saw the ice cream man and he's the happiest thing in your life and you hear the music <laughs> And you go running. And the funny thing is, in this book, you see the ice cream truck. The kids are lined up. You hear the music playing. And the ice cream man, he's this great guy, right? He's just like, oh, what do you want? He's like, what type of ice cream do you want? He's like, you want two scoops? He's like, lickety split, fast as fast can be. And he gives the kids their ice cream. And he's this nicest guy. And you think, wow, the ice cream man, he is great. And like I said, he's something more. He's the source of evil that goes on in this town. So we get across this boy who um, you think, okay, yeah, he's got his ice cream. He goes back home. And then the next thing you see is you get to see this narration of uh, about a particular spider, this poisonous spider. And you get to see him go to his actual house and he puts a clothespin or on his nose. And you're like, what the heck's going on? There's some something not right here. So he walks in and he goes and he sees his parents who are just... They're just paralyzed and, and they're stiff and they don't move. They're dead because they got bit by a spider that this young boy has as a pet. And this spider doesn't bite this kid, but he only bites adults, which is crazy. And so we wind up going to our detectives and our detectives are the ones that are here to solve this case. And uh, what happens also is we get another case that goes along with this where there's this wolf man that's out there that's eating cats. And so now they have two cases to solve. They got this wolf man that's eating cats and they have parents that are been missing, which is that young boys. And so our detectives go out there and they go and they try to uh, solve the case. So what happens is they wind up going to the house 
and um, you wind up seeing them. Uh, he winds up seeing the parents you know, who are all spidered up or whatever the case may be. And uh, the spider winds up biting the male detective. And he winds up going into shock and he winds up dying. And the female detective goes after the young boy to try to get the spider. And then all of a sudden you run into this, into this werewolf man. The other side of the case, right? And we find out that the werewolf man is the actual ice cream man. And so the spider winds up biting the werewolf man and the, were the ice cream man winds up disappearing. And uh, we wind up finding out that the male detective winds up dying. And uh, <laughs> and uh, what happens at the end is the, the boy uh, has to go into like some mental institute because he's been living on his own for like two weeks since his parents died. And uh, he's been having a troubled past. And then at the very end of this issue, we wind up seeing that the um, the actual ice cream man comes back. He picks up the spider and he makes it into an ice cream cone. And he's just like, lickety split. And that's basically how the issue ends. So overall, what did I think of the ice cream man or I just ice cream man? Um, I thought this was a good book. My one thing that happened was when I got into the story, I was really into it. And then it just abruptly ended. And I was like, oh. And that's the only thing that I don't like about these one and done horror books. Like you get into the story and then it just ends. And I liked the story. I liked the character of Ice Cream Man. I like how he represents like a symbolism of good but how he's actually really evil and he causes all the evil in the town i think that is very well done i think what would be great is maybe make these stories two parts uh, make them a little bit more in depth so you get to get invested in some of these characters a little bit more but i like the book i really do i just hope it doesn't fall into the trap of like say um for instance, um, from the Xenoscope title, uh, it, it's blank in my mind right now, uh, where these horror books are really good and then they start to fizzle out and the stories get cheesy or whatnot. But I have faith in this. I think it's going to be good. So if you guys want to go ahead and check it out, I definitely say check this out, especially if you like these horror type of books, these one and done stories. If you want to see the kind of chaos ice cream man does in this town uh go ahead and pick it up it's worth the read in my opinion so at the end of the day i'm going to give this book a four out of five stars i quite enjoyed it i want a little bit more gore and horror from it though it has that good creepy factor but let's see how far it pushes the envelope here so guys, in the comments below, if you got your hands on Ice Cream Man, let me know. Let me know what you thought of this book. And fans, until that next comic book review, this is Mike Spider Slayer signing off. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Bye.